I bet you and I have a lot in common. We're not the strongest, smartest, or richest people we know. We're not the fastest or most connected. We're not the best looking or most talented. We don't have the best genetics. But what we do have is something a lot of those other people will never have. The will to work. If there's one unavoidable truth in this world, it's that there is no substitute for putting in the work. There is no shortcut or growth hack or magic pill that can get you around the hard work of doing your job well, of winning something you care about, or of making your dreams come true. Work works. That is the bottom line. No matter what you do, no matter who you are, my entire life has been shaped by that single idea. It's all in your mind. Whatever you hold in your mind will tend to occur in your life. If you continue to believe as you have always believed, you will continue to act as you have always acted. You will continue to get what you have always gotten. If you want different results in your life or your work, all you have to do is change your mind. Self-doubt is one of the many ways we can become enemies of our own progress, saboteurs of our destinies. This can come up as a result of us amplifying our incapabilities. We seem to project failure into our future based off a temporary hurdle, either one that we have overcome or one that's currently in our path. But your analysis of yourself cannot be built on a foundation of deceit. Now, while it is okay and absolutely necessary to locate your flaws and weaknesses, it is not okay to marinate in them. It is not okay to let them overtake your identity. You are not inadequate. You are not insignificant. And you are not someone who is incapable of the very change or greatness you so desperately seek. Bruce Lee quote, he said, in great attempts, even failure is glorious. Failure shows you who you are. So the reality is you love failure. You just don't love it when it's yours. But when it's Kobe, oh yeah. You know, when it's LeBron, oh yeah. He, he didn't win these championships, look at him now, yeah. You are a fan of LeBron, you're really a fan of yourself. You just haven't finished your story. You know, that's, that's one of the biggest things that just continues to keep people in shackles, is the story they just keep telling themselves each and every day about why they aren't good enough, about why they can't do something, about how it won't work, you know? So really challenge yourself to change the story, change the narrative, the ability to write out our own story, the ability to manifest and to create the things that we want to create in this life. Do you wonder why you feel like you're not capable? Because you're telling yourself that you're not capable. Stop telling yourself you're not capable. You are capable. Tell yourself, I am capable. I have everything I need to try to do what I want to do. You have everything you need to be capable. But don't listen to the stories you tell yourself. The question of worth it is reliant on an outcome. We don't make these things for an outcome. It's not the mindset to make something great. The outcome happens, you're making the best thing you can make. It's a devotional practice. Whatever happens after that happens. And that part that happens after it is completely out of your control. You are responsible for your life. And if you're sitting around waiting on somebody to save you, to fix you, to even help you, you are wasting your time because only you have the power to take responsibility to move your life forward. What matters is now, this moment, and your willingness to see this moment for what it is, accept it, Forgive the past, take responsibility, and move forward. Seneca famously said, we do not learn in school, but in life. If you want to live a life of success, if you want to develop into a complete person, you must learn from life, the experiences, the people, the places that you go to, and understand that the culmination of your experiences is what gives you the knowledge to make better decisions for your future. But I decided to learn from my experiences. I decided to put myself in situations that were uncomfortable so that I could grow and become better. And the better you become, the better life gets.
If you want the future to change for you, you've got to change. If you don't change, the next six years of your life is going to be just like the last six. You'll still be behind on your bills. You'll still be behind on your promises. If you will change, everything will change for you. If you will get better, everything will get better for you. If you'll change your philosophy, if you'll change your habits, if you'll refine your thinking, if you'll change and accept some new disciplines, if you'll turn the corner where you've been in the past, go for a new life for the future, all kinds of remarkable things will happen for you if you will change. Like everyone else, you want to learn the way to win, but never to accept the way to lose. To accept defeat, to learn to die is to be liberated from it. So when tomorrow comes, you must free your ambitious mind and learn the art of dying. If you had tough shit happen to you, it sucks and it's not your fault. But now what? Where do we go? My two cents, win anyways, and prove that you can win even when the chips are stacked against you and you're dealt a lousy hand. Because we can't get dealt a new hand, we gotta play the cards we got rather than hoping the dealer rules in our favor. So again, what do you do with your shitty hand? The only thing possible, you play it the best you can. Understand that your attempt to be better cannot be based off your previous understanding of your lesser self. You are not who you used to be, no matter how little the difference is. Remember this, just because you can't do something right now or haven't been able to do so in the past, does not mean you won't be able to do so tomorrow or sometime in the future. One day or day one? Keep that in your mind. Keep that, keep that in your mind if you've been slacking on some kind of something that you want to start doing. I'm going to go crazy. To, I'm going to go crazy next year. Next year's my year. Right. The people who say next year is my year, I mean, are you serious? By the time it becomes next year, you're still going to be saying next year is going to be my year. Were you uncomfortable today? People that create spectacular lives approach life just a little bit differently than most people. They seek discomfort. They know that discomfort gets them to grow faster. If it isn't uncomfortable, it's the wrong path. Everything you want in life is on the other side of your comfort zone. The pain of regret is far heavier than the price of discipline. So if it doesn't work out, you can live with it. You can turn the page. You can say what's next. And when you take business, family, life, dreams, goals, and aspirations, you got people going 60%, 70%, and it doesn't manifest. For some reason, people are scared of failure, right? And so I often say to them, man, give everything you got to it. If it doesn't turn out, what's the worst that can happen? You can turn the page. One bad chapter doesn't define a book. You've got to go after something you seriously want. You've got to really want it. Don't have to know how to do it. You don't have to know where the money's coming from. You don't have to know how it's going to happen, but you've got to really want it. As you take that want and turn it over and plant it in your heart, that becomes a desire. Desire is the effort of the unexpressed possibility within, seeking expression without through your action. You have to be grateful for the past. Any level of tragedy from your past does one of two things. It either builds you or it breaks you. In my past, I have gone through poverty. In my past, I have gone through neglect. In my past, I have gone through abuse, betrayal, loneliness, rock bottom. But I am beyond grateful for it. Why? Because it made me who I am. You can't bring me down. I learned from my past. I'll step on your words like stairs on my way to the top. You can take all I have. I know what it is to appreciate life. So I have the key to getting it all back. You can knock me down in the depths of the sea. I have learned from my past that you only drown when you stay down. So I'm going to get back up. There needs to be someone who is sort of the, um, 
keeper and reiterator of the vision. Uh, because there's just a ton of work to do. And a lot of times, you know, when you have to walk a thousand miles and you take the first step, it looks like a long ways. And it really helps if there's someone there saying, well, we're one step closer. You know, the, the goal definitely exists. It's not just a mirage out there. So in a thousand and one little and sometimes larger ways, the vision needs to be reiterated. You know, something doesn't go the way you wanted it to go. You didn't get the job you wanted. You didn't get the hire. You didn't get the promotion. You can go home and sit there and, and, and dwell on it. That's not getting you any progress. Or you say, okay, you know what? Let me do a quick analysis. Why didn't I get that promotion? Oh, it's because I didn't get this qualification or I hadn't jumped through this gate. Okay, cool. What do I need? To, let, me, let me look into how do, I, how do I get to jump through that gate so next time I will get the promotion and you start taking action. Nothing's ever going to be given to you. Everything's going to be earned. If you don't go out there and put in the work, you don't go out and put in the effort, one, you're not going to get the results. But two, more importantly, you don't deserve it. You didn't earn it. What do I mean by winners win and losers lose? I get asked this question all the time. Winners are people that everything that they do, all the habits that they instill are the habits of a winner. A winner isn't a final product. A winner is a lifestyle. A winner is a concurrent set of actions that lead you to a final destination. Same way is for losers. Usually losers inhibit behaviors of losing people, who they hang out with, what they eat, what they listen to, how they think about themselves. The question is, will you become successful? Will you instill the habits of a winning person? Focus on leveling up, focus on winning. Every single single action, everything that you do, focus on winning, focus on becoming a champion. And you know what the outcome will be? You will become exactly what you put in. And the beautiful thing is you can change your story at any moment in time. Create a new narrative, write a longer chapter, or cut this one short. At any second, you have the ability to invent a new you. Go for an unconventional ending. All you have to do is believe and watch the magic happen. An insane belief in my own ability to manifest things. Insane belief, you know, that I think it's ultimately complete sanity, but I believe we're creators, and I believe we create with every thought and every word is, every moment is pregnant with the next moment of your life. We all start out with a false belief about ourselves with some untrue thing that we believe walking through our lives. I'm not worthy, I'm not lovable, I'm gonna fail. Whatever your basic mistaken belief about yourself is, you form a personality around. I see these shots, I see these sequences, and I don't shy away from them. A lot of times people believe in certain things, but they keep to themselves. They don't put it out there. If you truly believe in it, if you become vocal with it, you are creating that law of attraction and it will become reality. Can't wait for everything to be okay to live your life. There's still time to make a change. There's still time to commit to yourself. There's still time to do something you've never done. You don't need a new year to start creating a new you. Stop waiting for the perfect time to get started. Get up and make the rest of these days count.